Hi everyone, it's Donna here, and I am back with video number two today with all journal jewelry, journal dangles. Um, these are all made from broken jewelry pieces, and if I can figure out how to do it, I'm going to insert a very short video that I did um, when I was making these to show you what my desk looked like when I was putting these together, and I'm going to try to insert that right here. Hi everyone, this is just a quick video to show you the mess on my desk as I'm working on making journal jewelry and journal dangles. Um, this is all pieces from broken jewelry, jewelry that I inherited when my boyfriend's mother passed away that I have dismantled and taken apart. It's all different kinds of chains. I have it kind of sorted by colors this is the multicolored ones some bits these are all bits that are going to go into dangles i'll like start by pulling one of these out and use it as the base and then kind of build on it i've got this individual bead dangles and some multi bead dangles that i've made this is one that I'm working on right now. I've got an assortment of chains, my jump ring um, box, my lobster claws, some charms. These two things are all different charms. And these are the ones that I've made so far. I think there's probably 11 or 12 in there. So I just wanted to show you what my desk looks like when I'm working on jewelry dangles so um, this clip will probably go when I go to sell those I'll probably insert that just so you can see what uh, what my workstation is like when I'm working on journal jewelry thanks and bye for now um, so hopefully I was able to do that and these are all six dollars each and I, they will be listed down below and as they sell out I will mark them sold down below in the description box so you'll know which ones are still available and which ones are not um, they're on they're all one of a kind well there's there's one that that I have two of but that's the only one if you're interested in more than one um, but you only want to purchase one send me an order of preference so that if the first your first choice is not available when I get to your email then I will go down your list and if any of the ones you are interested in are available then I will um, you will get the next the next one on your list that is available I hope hope that makes sense uh, since these are all one of a kind uh, all right let's get started lot number 44 is lots of shades of green it is six inches long and that's from the top they all have a lobster claw clasp at the top um, and I will also well no they all have a lobster claw clasp and that's from the top of that to the the bottom of the last bead and this one has all kinds of they all have different chains and charms and beads so this is lot number 44 Lot number 45 also has lots of greens and, and teals. This one is five inches long. It has um, some black chains in it, pearls, charms. Let's find the best way to show this. Crystals. So that is number 45. number 46 also has a lot of a lot of greens and greens and blues uh, this one is five and three quarters inches long dragonfly that is number 46 number 47 is seven inches long 
This one has lots of silver and black. Some crystals, lots of beads. So that is number 47. Number 48 also has blacks, lots of black in it. This one is six and a quarter inches long. There's a feather. There's a little bit of red in this one. Heart, lock, bunch of beads. So that is number 48. Number 49, I actually have two of this one. Uh, this is seven and a half inches long. It has um, a row of angels. You see the little angel there? There's a big pearl at the bottom. And white and crystal beads on chain. So that is number 49. I have two that are the same. That's the only one I have multiples of. Number 50 has blacks and reds and pearls. It is seven inches long. And this is what it looks like. There's some crystals there. Lots of red. So that is number 50. Number 51 is five and a half inches long. This one has mostly deep blues. There's a crystal um, heart with a keyhole in it. These are all dark, dark blue. So that is number 51. Number 52 is seven inches long. This one is colorful, has all different colors in it. It's got some pink, it's got some orange, got some green, some red. Great for a boho journal. All different metals. So that is number 52. Number 53 is five and a half inches long. This one has mostly browns and golds, a little bit of orange. So put a little dangly thing bit there. Did I say this one's five and a half? That's number 53. 54 is six inches long. This one is mostly silver and black. Got all different types of, of metals, different shapes. These are all for broken pieces of jewelry. So that is number 54. Number 55. Is another colorful one. This one is four inches long. It has all different different colors, different um, different finishes. It's a little crystal drink with a lime in it. A little purse. Very cute little bird. So that is number fifty-five. Number 56 is 8 inches long. This is a really long one. You can, you know, cut some of these pieces off and make it shorter if you like. This one also has all different types of beads. There's a big fish. Like that. There's a sand dollar. There's a turtle and a big shell at the bottom. So that is number 56. Number 57 is the longest one. This one is nine inches long. And this one, you won't be able to cut, <clears throat> excuse me, this one any shorter because it was a bracelet and it's all beaded together. So if you cut it, 
everything's going to fall off. But if you don't want it that long, you can just take this piece off if you like. But this one has all different colors as well. Very colorful. That one is number 57, 9 inches long. And lastly, number 58 is another 4 inch long one. And this one has mostly blues and greens. Yeah, all different metals, different charms. Very, very cute. Very chunky. So that's number 58. And that is it for today. If you're interested in any of these, uh, send me your order of preference. Um, if you want more than one, let me know that you want, you know, one or two, and then your order of preference. Um, and next weekend, I will be offering some journal covers. I've been in my happy place this week making journal covers, my collage vintage journal covers, and probably something else, but I haven't decided what yet. But that's it for today. Thanks, and bye for now.